It's day 20 of cycling across the USA from Miami to LA, all to raise money for the fantastic cause, Get Kids Going! Exclamation mark. Today's ride is an exciting one because we're riding from Sulphur, Louisiana, into Texas. We're heading just over the Texan border where we'll meet some special guests for Thanksgiving. I'm also trying out something a little bit different in today's episode in the form of this fancy Insta360 X3 camera. They have their Black Friday sale on at the moment and there'll be a link in the description down below. All of the B-roll that you see in today's video, all of the riding footage will be from this. <laughs> Uh, we're about 80 miles. Good luck to you guys. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all make it, man. Uh, send me some pictures. We'll make it, we'll All make right. it. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is day 20 of us on the road. Big dogs. We are finally experiencing good weather again. I've not been very well. Still not particularly well. But uh, we're going to have a good day today. We're just trying to get a little bit further along the route. And then we've got some surprises that are happening, which sh should make our lives considerably easier. <laughs> Hopefully. But we're in a beautiful area of Sulphur, Louisiana crossing over into Texas today, our fifth state. So we're actually making pretty good progress. Oh, Justin cam. Very quick Justin cam there. Looking forward to today's ride. It's not going to be too long. I, I, I can't ride for too long. As you can hear, I'm still not 100%. What? It's summer. It is summer again. Hope everyone at home has got beautiful weather like us. Look at the sun. Yesterday in particular, and the night before, I was basically comatose. Uh, Francis was a bit concerned that I was dead. And he was taking pictures of me whilst I was comatose. As you can see from this. Thank you very much, Francis. The observant ones among you may have noticed that yesterday we didn't upload a video. And that was because Justin was really, really ill. That was two days of rain where he was getting sprayed in the face, in the hard shoulder with all of the crap by the side of the road. He got a really bad stomach bug, which he still has. So we did some damage limitation to make sure the rest of this trip can still happen. We got a lift 45 minutes up the road to our next accommodation and he spent the whole day in bed, which has worked wonders, but he's not back to 100%. So today we're gonna get to the border, meet up with some friends who you may recognize, spend Thanksgiving with them, which is tomorrow as an extra day of recovery, and then hit the road again they're just north of Houston, so it's taken us kind of off our route and then they're gonna drop us back on it. By that point, we should be uh, fully recovered, have some new toys to play with and be good to go for the second half of our trip because we're almost halfway. Thankfully, the weather's being kind to us today. This is the warmest day they've had around here for a while. My legs are feeling strong. Justin, how are your arms? Arms are good. Arms are good. Uh, lungs and throat system, not so much, but we're getting places. Francis is a man possessed this morning. We've done coming up to 35k in just over an hour. He's uh, he's not even looking like he's going to slow down anytime soon. And look how comfortable he is. Well, this is a lovely morning, worryingly so. We were joking yesterday that there's someone with a button just waiting for us when we're just when nothing interesting is going on. They have their finger on the button and they could press it and release the dogs or the rain or something that's going to mess with us because just crazy stuff just seems to happen every single day on this trip. Can't we just have a quiet one? Just for just one day. We're now cycling along a road. It's straight and nothing's happening. Hopefully that continues for at least 10k. What happened this morning, Francis? Surprise puncher. There was no reason for it to happen whatsoever. Woke up this morning, I was just sat on my bed looking at my bike and then it just goes punch off for no reason thanks we're in 
Texas. We're in Texas. We had a bunch of workmen cheering us on through those roadworks. My legs are battered now. I rode so hard because I know we've got a rest day tomorrow. Remember the name? I'm bad with names. Please forgive me if I... Have you ever had a Mountain Dew before? No, I haven't, but I have heard of them. Should we have one? Have you never had a Mountain no. Dew? Let's go for it. <laughs> two of your finest Mountain Dews, please, sir. Yes, man. This is Ryan. Nice meeting you, my two of my friends, and it was a wonderful experience with you guys. We chatted a lot. They made make me remember my country, and thanks, I'm glad they've been to my country. That's all? Uh, that's as well. That's on me now. Oh, what flavor is this? This is normal Mountain Dew flavor. What is, what is normal Mountain Dew? Mountain flavor. Is this your guys' first time trying Mountain Dew? Yeah. yeah. So we thought we'd get it on camera. It's very nice. If you guys ever go to like the like Tennessee, Kentucky area, you need to try a soda. It's called Ale 8. Ale 8. Ale 8. It's, got, it's the soda with the most caffeine that is legal in America. Are you reading the ingredients? I wouldn't okay, if I were so you. Go to, <laughs> That's a bad go, idea. go to Taco Bell. It's the best Mountain Dew flavor. It's the only thing Taco Bell is good for. It's Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And they have it in a freeze. Why don't you shout your TikTok out to the YouTube? That bitch bankrupt. I make stoner t-shirts. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Bye, guys. Have a great trip. Bye. Safe travels. <laughs> Call for a rescue truck. Cowgirl <laughs> and Fred Durst. Oh. Right. There really is nothing else in this town. I thought, oh, why can't stop here? It's not really a town, is it? No. No. Uh oh, that, hang on. I've pretty much pulled up yeah. and blocked yeah. everything here. Oh well. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Texas. I'm in the bigger truck, so it's all good. I've been so worried about you. Why? Because nothing's gone wrong. Everything's gone wrong. Your <laughs> arrived. Really? Yes. Yeah. I've got Holes. Do you know, I wondered that because you're so low down. I wondered if there was a bump, whether you would actually hit it. Yep. And do you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> so it was reinforced before we came out, but yeah, wow. there, there, and there. They're just little holes. It's and fine. is it made out of carbon fiber? Yeah. Oh God. Could the whole thing like shatter though under that kind of like with big. <laughs> So for people who don't know, this is Lou and Rob, friends from the UK. Well, actually, you're a Texan. I'm Texan, yeah. It's local. We're joining these guys for Thanksgiving yeah. at Rob's parents' house. Brother, wife, kids. I've never done Thanksgiving. I can't believe out. you're spending Thanksgiving here with his parents before I do. They've got a Bitcoin ATM in here. Ooh. Now's a good time to get that low price. Yeah. Okay, so this That ain't going anywhere. Welcome to Texas. DQ's uh, theme song, that's what I like about Texas. We gotta take you here. Thank you. This will be the sizes of gravy if you want large. It's $13 of gravy. Yeah, who doesn't need that in their life? <laughs> steak fingers, like chicken strips, but steak inside um, uh, battered basically. So you have chicken strips. Chicken fried steak sandwich is pretty good. This little break that we're having is a good opportunity to get ourselves sorted. So we've come to Target to get some provisions, which will be useful in the days coming up. Can you buy guns here? Not at this place. Just having weapons. Just knives. <laughs> yes, there's my ride. Oh. Oh. Yeah, where's the weapons? Is it just called like the weapon aisle? Just to the back. Ah, oh, yes. I should probably point out for people out of the loop, this is Lou from the Internationales, the women's team that ride the Tour de France the day before to protest the fact that there wasn't a women's Tour de France but now there is one. Basically, her injury is really funny because she didn't crash on her bike, she just slipped over on a slippy floor and now she has pink crutches and a really cool scooter. I was wearing cowboy boots, cowboy boots and wet floors don't mix. Is it too big for you to carry? It's, it's really light, like one thing, it, look it's a shark truck. Will it fit in the tail fin? Yes. I guess that means that they will be I said no to the shark truck. This video was sponsored by Insta360. I hope you enjoyed the slightly different type of B-roll footage that we got from the camera. It's actually really cool having it on the selfie stick and it edits out the stick, makes it invisible, and it doesn't really matter what way you're pointing the camera. So it was actually a joy to use. There'll be an affiliate link in the description down below. And if you click that link and order one of the cameras through the Black Friday sale, then I earn a small bit of commission, which we will then spend probably on Mountain Dew. So thanks Insta360 for supporting this trip and supplying us with sugary drinks. We are having a rest day tomorrow, but stay tuned for an unveiling of something pretty cool and we'll finally make a video about Justin's bike too. Goodbye for now.